Max Verstappen heads to Mexico ready to bounce back from his second retirement in five races. The Dutchman seeking a third straight win at the track where he's proved a prize fighter. The 22-year-old getting a chance to flex his muscles ahead of last year's Mexico Grand Prix with seven-time world boxing champion Jorge Arce who wrapped his hands for sparring practice. The boxing workout an energetic start to the race weekend. I mean, I do a little bit of boxing at home, but of course now you have a professional trainer and boxer in front of you who can actually teach you the right movements and stuff because it's a lot about movements as well and timing. So um, I think it's very useful for us as well to do this kind of workout. Verstappen, of course, has a lot of fight in him and so much potential to unleash in a dominant car. One he's still yet to race. F1's turbo hybrid era monstered by Mercedes with 86 wins from 117 races. The result, Verstappen has just seven wins from 98 starts and no more than two each season since joining Red Bull Racing from Spain 2016. A win on debut proving his hype was justified. Naturally, Verstappen went into the 2019 season with no goals or targets set. Honda expected to take time betting into Red Bull's top team. I, I just tried to get the best out of myself, but the goals, yeah, you have to wait and see what, what the engine and, and the car is gonna do. So I guess up until uh, Australia, anyway, you can't really set goals because it's a bit blind, you know. In, in Formula One, it's so related to the package you get. That package has since exceeded all expectations. Verstappen securing Honda's maiden victory in F1's hybrid era at Austria's Red Bull Ring. The Japanese tea is flowing given its torturous recent journey. Just two races later, Verstappen won again at a wet Hockenheim, despite five pit stops and a spin in a chaotic safety car affected race. But since then, the Dutchman crashed out in Belgium, following contact with Alfa Romeo Racing's Kimi Raikkonen at La Source. While there's been a major change of the team, Alex Albon replacing Pierre Gasly from Spa onwards, with the Anglo-Thai racer far stronger and closer to the often untouchable Dutchman. Japan was a nightmare, with Verstappen retiring with damage from a first corner collision with Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc. A disappointing result at Honda's home race, where he'd hoped to take the win. We have still room to, uh, to improve, and we know that we, we have to improve as well if we uh, need to challenge for, for more wins and uh, potentially championships. So, yeah, we uh, keep working hard to try and um, achieve that. To do that, Honda needs to bridge the power gap thought to be around 10 to 15 brake horsepower behind Mercedes, with the prancing horse another 20 ahead in qualifying, around 10 in the race. And Red Bull Motorsport consultant Dr. Helmut Marko has backed the Japanese to make the jump the squad needs. I think they are doing the right things and the right job. We believe next year we won't be third, he said. It's a challenge for a rejuvenated Honda and Red Bull to close in to the other top teams, one that Verstappen will be watching closely with just 2020 left on his current contract. Because like former teammate Daniel Ricciardo, he can't keep waiting around for a title charge, so Red Bull has to deliver. Or risk losing perhaps its greatest asset, Verstappen. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.